Hey everybody, welcome to the final part of the Four Dark Judges by Mongoose Games. We are finally on the very last model. It's been a lot of fun painting these. I'm excited to get on with Judge Death and have all four done. And be sure to check out the community post section because that's where we're posting the RPG rules where I'm trying to use them as little old cosplayers. Hopefully as I'm talking, there's pictures popping up everywhere of Judge Death to give you an idea of what I'm trying to make him look like. He's not going to look much like it. It's going to be my interpretation. But let's get into the video. Right, let's get into it. So primed it black, gave it a heavy dry brushing of some gray. And now we're going to use the Ceramite white base paint from the Citadel range with another dry brushing. This is going to be a heavy dry brush. The reason is I need the colors to pop. Death has a lot of bone work on him, so I need a good solid white foundation. I'm using the Army Painter dry brush that I actually bought recently. And as you can see, I didn't worry about knocking too much paint off the brush. This is definitely, I guess it's not even dry brushing, it's, what's that stupid term everyone's using, overbrushing? <laughs> I, I hate those terms. Ultimately, I'm trying to make everything as light as possible whilst keeping the shadow areas darker. So let's skip forward and get to the more fun stuff. Right, with that drying, and hopefully dried quite quick because it got fan on it, we're going to grab the Gravelord Grey and do his uniform. Now, as I've mentioned in the previous videos, I'm trying to keep the uniforms as uniformed as possible. So street judges, actual proper mega city judges are all gonna be a dark blue. The dark judges, like this guy, I'm using the Gravelord Grey to give them a dark gray uniform. In the SJS, I'm going to use the straight up grim black. So they're all going to look different. And you should be able to tell who's who just by the color of the uniform. Obviously, the dark judges are slightly easier to spot because they are going to be the ones trying to kill everyone. So it doesn't really matter what color uniform they're wearing. You want to run away from them. Now, if you've not been following this project, go check out the other four other three, I can't count, the other three videos. I've got Fear, Fire, Mortis, and now Death all done. They also each have a community post, hopefully. By the time you're watching this video, Deaths will be up as well. And it's explaining the rules for the RPG setting from Games Workshop in 1985. And also the fact that these are going to represent Mega City 1 cosplayers who, following an interaction with the Dark Judges, have become obsessed with cosplaying them, and it's going to get them into trouble. My goal is to actually use them as civilian models in the Warlord games, so they'll act as moving terrain in a normal game, or as actual citizen mobs if I do a block war game. This is probably also a good time to say, if you are doing all of that, you obviously like something I'm doing. So drop me a like, say hi, let me know if there's a model that you want to see painted. I've got most of them in my collection now. So if there's something you want to see done, just drop me a comment, let me know. And while that's happening, we will skip forward a little. Okay, the base is now done, the uniform is done. We're gonna jump in to the pallid bone color. Now pallid bone if I can get it to zoom, there we go. It's excellent for anything skeleton-esque. So with that being my full process, we're going to use this on his shoulder pad, which is lots of little bones, his weird pterodactyl shoulder pad, his eye visor, the belt buckle, and his elbow pads. Now I'm just trying to be as neat as possible. It's a pretty light colour, so if I make a mistake, it's going to be easily covered by any other paint in this collection. But the neater you are now, the easier it is later on. I did slap some on his teeth as well. I'm not entirely sure once I do the green later. It doesn't really stand out as much as I thought it might. But 
if you look close enough, his teeth will be done. And then this beautiful pterodactyl that's on his shoulder. It has so much shadowy area. The contrast paint is absolutely in love with it. I don't know why on Death World their logo was the pterodactyl over the eagle. I think it was just artistic choice. I don't think there's any real reason behind it. If you know the reason, please do let me know. I'd love to know if there was a genuine reason behind it, or if it was just the fact that it looked like a creepy version of the eagle. Then we got his weird elbow pads that make me think of fingers, but there's way too many to be a hand, but they're just very creepy. And what you'll see later is the knee pads and the belt. I'm going to do green like my street judges, because I want them to feel like cosplayers and not the actual dark judges. My reasoning is they only caught a glimpse of the dark judges during Chaos Day, so they had to actually make up a lot of the parts and imagery, and so they just copied the actual Mega City 1 judges and then slapped on some hot glue, stuck bones down, made some weird adjustments to get their costumes to look like the Dark Judges. And with some final details now getting picked out, the badge, the belt buckle and the zipper, we are going to give this a quick minute to dry up and then probably go with green next as those areas are further away from where I've just painted bone. And so it should allow the bone to dry a bit longer and avoid any running of the colours. Now for the green, there's only one green that makes sense for these comic book characters. And that is of course Orc Skin. It's a beautiful green. It's bright, it's bold, it's garish. It's perfect for comic book characters. And we are just going to put this all over these giant knee pads that they've got. I think this adds to the idea that they're cosplayers, because the elbow pads and knee pads just look ridiculously oversized for the model. And I think that's something that a cosplayer would do. They're not entirely sure of what they're doing. They're just making it look as close as possible. And this colour goes on so easily, you barely have to do anything. It's bright, it covers wonderfully. Even over this grey, it is still bright and in your face. It's an absolute joy to paint with. I really could not use it on an orc. I think if you put this on an orc, they would look stupid, to be honest. I might try it, actually. I have some orc models to paint up soon. Maybe we'll give it a go. But when I tried this green on a Fomorian for the Slain range, it looked so garish and silly. I just couldn't do it. But for belt pouches and knee pads, Seems to be the right shade of green. Just look at it go on. It's just darkening into the recesses. It runs so well. It's nicely mixed. Some of these colours don't... You have to really shake them up to get it going. But this green always seems ready to go. And that was a pretty quick step. There wasn't much that had to be done in green. Uh, I think start to finish this model only took me 17 minutes with drying time and me messing around with the camera. So it is a very quick and dirty scheme. It's all speed paints apart from the priming. So you've got no reason for not getting your models painted to be honest with you. Just get paint on them. You'll feel so much better for it. I then grabbed the Grim Black. This is purely for his helmet. I wanted it to be darker than his uniform. So we are just gonna cover the old melon head. You don't really need to see this, but I want to make sure it's nice and thick, avoid any brush strokes, and we will move on to the next step. And that next step is dun 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 Maligant Green. Now I use this on Judge Fear. Seems right to use it on Judge Death's fleshy parts. So I'm gonna slap it on his feet, his hands, and around his face. Now I'm gonna make sure it's a heavy coat. I'm going for the pretty bright zombie green, I guess you could call it. 
it's kind of the color scheme that makes me think of the comic that I used to get in the 90s after the Sylvester Stallone movie came out. The Judge Dredd Lawman of the Future set. Let's see if I can find an image and stick it up. But he was a lot more green looking. And he was actually, I found that version of him a lot more terrifying. Because he was this slender man. He was very wiry and scary and he had this weird shade of green about him and actually in that version of the comic he is judge dread from another world who has gone to the extremes and he has come to find himself in the new mega city and obviously kill everyone so i i very much had an idea in my brain of how this was gonna look and i think i achieved it Just trying to be careful around the mouth because we did the teeth earlier and I'm trying to make sure I don't flood the area with green. It's very hard. I ultimately succeed but then when everything dries the pallid bone kind of blends in with the green anyway. But I'll shoot up some photos and I'll catch you soon. Make sure you like, subscribe and check out the community posts. Cheers for stopping by. And make sure you come back for the next video. Bye-bye.